It's been more than a month since coronavirus testing started at Lad People Stadium, and it's been about two weeks since Alabama reopened. News 5's Cherish Lombard joins us live from her home to tell us how testing has been progressing since it began at the stadium. Cherish? Yeah, I think a lot of people are wondering, did Alabama reopen too soon? And the only real way to tell is through testing. Since COVID-19 testing began, 14,070 tests have been administered in Mobile, 100 of them positive. At the Lad People Stadium testing site, I'm told there hasn't really been a change as far as the number of positive tests, but more people are being tested. Well over 100 um, patients a day that we're putting through here. Natalie Fox, Chief Nursing Officer at USA Health Physician Practices, oversees testing at Lab Stadium. She says testing needs have slightly increased since Alabama reopened. We are doing more testing in general because we're testing all of our patients that are coming in to get procedures. Um, that's happening at all facilities across town and that, you know, if you're pretty much scheduled for some type of procedure, whether it's surgery or colonoscopy, we are doing pre-COVID testing on those patients in efforts to keep all of our patients and staff safe. She also says many business owners want their employees tested before they return to work. We have been testing um, employees of nursing home groups, um, of other businesses that are wanting to open up. Fox tells me another reason more tests are being administered around the state is because more test kits are now available and more places are offering testing. There's urgent cares that are offering testing now, so we have testing options offered in multiple areas across the city, Franklin Health, Mobile County Health Department, which is great, which is what our community needs. So did Alabama reopen too soon? Fox says it's too early to know at this point. She believes we'll get a more accurate answer in two weeks. So at this point, what we can say is maybe more testing, a number of reasons, including people aren't exactly sick. They just are getting tested to go back to work. And I'm told there was an influx of patients at the lab site today. But between April 6th and yesterday, today's numbers aren't available yet. There have been 273 positive COVID tests from that site. Cherish Lombard, WKRG News 5. And remember, call us with your coronavirus questions. The number right there on your screen. Leave us a message and we'll answer your questions each weeknight on News 5 at 10.